I'm very confident. I think with the deal we've got, there will be fewer problems. We're very confident in the outcome of the talks. And we believe that the dialogue we've had will produce very positive results. Therefore, I'm asking everyone to remain calm and I ask them to accept the decisions that have been taken so that we can move forward and end these talks. Now, Mark Thompson has more on the crisis in Burkina Faso, where people have been protesting against offering the coup leaders amnesty. A celebratory atmosphere in Burkina Faso's capital. That, as transition government soldiers and protesters wait for the leaders of last week's coup to hand over their arms. We've come here to the National Square to really support our brothers in arms but also to condemn the behavior of the presidential guard, which has really hurt us all. The presidential guard's been offered amnesty in exchange for returning power to the transitional government. But the 12-point plan negotiated by ECOWAS has been criticized by protesters who say they can't forgive their actions. Several people have been killed and dozens wounded in violent demonstrations. We are told to forgive those who deliberately killed our comrades, our people who demonstrated for their liberty to reclaim democracy. But we can't agree to that. We don't trust ECOWAS anymore, and we don't trust the African Union. We want to get out and take control of our destiny. The people of Burkina Faso don't agree with what's happening. You can't kill unarmed civilians and expect us to keep quiet. Interim President Michel Cafondo has now been released by the Presidential Guard after being taken hostage. He too says he has reservations over the deal. Cafondo told French radio station RFI he wasn't consulted before the deal was announced.